And it got to a point where the day came that Monique Coleman from High School Musical had to fire me. She had to fire me. <laughs> Misguided. Why, hello there. <laughs> so today, I have got quite the story time. Boy, oh boy, have I got the story time for you. But before we get into the story time, a word from our sponsors. Molly, her name is Molly Medusa. <gasps> Hi, Molly. In the club with Molly. There you go, girl. She's so long. I need to stop touching her. I'm really bad about that. She's like, bitch, I feed on the air, not skin cells. Six feet. They gave me a code. You can use code MERMAN. That's MERMAN. My air plant's over in the window, but she's doing great. Still love me some air plant gardens. Definitely check them out. 50% off, y'all. I think it's like $8 or something like that. Use code MERMAN, okay? And of course, use code MISGUIDED MERMAN at Twisted B to uh, save you some money. There will be links in my descriptions for both of the advertisers. Mm -hmm. So this was fully like a repressed memory that came back to me recently. So I saw Monique Coleman was trending on Twitter and I was like, oh my god, I love her. I worked for her. Like I fully built a, like half of a website for Monique Coleman. But the reason why this like all came flooding back to me is because I remembered when I saw her name and was thinking about like how I worked for her, I started thinking about how did that start? Like how did I first meet her? Like when was my first time talking to her? And then I remembered the fear of saying yes. And then it all came rushing back to me. Belina Vitrova Zamelozhikova. No, I mean like... <laughs> okay, I should like, I should back up here. When I was a young little youngster, I worked on this website called We Stop Hate. And this website was all about stop and hate. Essentially, like, YouTubers would share their stories of being bullied or, like, overcoming self-hatred and, like, sharing stories of self-love on this channel. We stop hate.org. You guessed it. We stop hate. Love it. I love it. No idea how much and how big a smile is. The channel got really popular. Like, so popular that Lady Gaga like met the channel owner. This is Lady Gaga. We stop hate. I love your website and I love everything that you do. I was working with my friend from New York and I was helping her with her YouTube channel. I was kind of making some graphics for her and we were designing a website, like a revamp of her website over the summer. So we were working together like every single day. She had connections, okay? <laughs> and she hooked me up with some connections too. Like I was able to do some graphic design stuff for some people and it was really cool at such a young age as well. And I am so beyond thankful for this privilege and opportunity. Like I'm, I'm so thankful for her in my life. So like, if you're saying this, I love you. Thank you, I miss you. <laughs> uh, so I was talking to her like every day and she was going on a bunch of dates at the time and I was like, how are you meeting these people? She told me about this website that was still pretty new. It was called OkCupid. Okay this was like 2012. So OkCupid okay was still a fresh idea and like online dating was still kind of just stepping into the sphere. So she told me to get on OkCupid okay and I had never been on a dating website before. So I signed up and for the first time I put male interested in males. I was so scared. <laughs> but like deep down, I knew that I was gay, you know? Like I knew that I, I wanted to meet a man who was interested in me, and I did. So me and this person matched on OkCupid, okay and he was really cute. He lived kind of far away, but I really like vibed with him. We would stay up till like four in the morning talking. He was the first person to ever like verbally reciprocate feelings for me who was a guy. And so it was just such a big deal to me. I remember I would go to my job and I would like use his initials as as, like his name to make it sound like a girl. I, 
<laughs> just so I could still talk about him. I was so nervous to tell anybody that I met this boy, but at the same time, I wanted to tell everybody. So my dear friend was also working for Monique Coleman at the time, handling her social media. So I'm like telling my friends like, oh my god, like OkCupid worked. Like I met this person, I don't know how to take it to the next step with them, I want to tell them that I like them, I want to meet them, like I, I just want, I want more than just like talking. I mean we've been talking for weeks at this point. She was like, Monique is so insightful, she's so kind, she's so wise, like you have to talk to her. Like, I mean, I'd be honored, but why? <laughs> and she was like, Monique is so insightful. She will know what to do. She will be able to help you. And I was like, okay, okay, yeah. Like I would, I would love to talk to High School Musical's Monique Coleman about my dating life. <laughs> so she set up like a FaceTime call with me and Monique. I don't remember how this worked because I remember I was FaceTiming with Monique, like directly. I don't know if like my friend was at Monique's house or like she was on the computer with me and then I was FaceTiming Monique, but I just remember FaceTiming Monique, like holding her in my hand and like talking to her in my little teenage bedroom. And I kind of told her, I met this person and I'm so nervous nervous and I don't know how to like, I don't know how to deal with this. I've never felt these feelings before and I like want to tell them, but I'm scared they won't feel the same way or I'm scared that I'm reading too much into this or putting things where they aren't. You know, those kinds of anxietal thoughts. Anxietal? Is that a word? <laughs> and this next part, I can't believe I forgot until till I, this came back to me when I was on Twitter. But I remember specifically her saying, it doesn't matter, but is this person a boy? And I remember the fear, like specifically the fear came back to me. And I remember the fear of saying, yes, like that was it. Like that was it. Literally that was it. Like I just remember the fear of saying yes. And it like came flooding back to me. And see like I always thought my coming out story was that like I told my best friend at the time right before school started and I was like hey I like someone and it's a boy. That was the narrative in my brain. I fully forgot that the summer before that I had this conversation with Monique Coleman. And I guess the reason I forgot that like Bodie Coleman was the first person I came out to was because like I ended up working with her. So it's kind of like a long jumbled story, but I guess that's why we're here, right? <laughs> I think we maybe talked two or three times during the rest of that year. And then in 2013, during my spring break, I went to New York and I got to finally meet Monique Coleman. When I met her, she was so kind. We met at a frozen yogurt shop. It was like nine o'clock at night in New York. She told me all of this like really personal stuff about her life that of course, I can't like share here. It was just amazing. Like she was the oldest cast member in High School Musical, like among the high schoolers. So she essentially like mentored all of the people from High School Musical. She has gone through so much trauma that she has fought her way to overcome. Like this woman is a fucking pioneer, like, she is incredible. Honestly, it's insane to me that she's like not more famous or like in politics, like running for president or something because she is so fucking smart and wise and kind and just like incredible. <laughs> so I ended up working for Monique Coleman the summer after my senior year. I was helping her design a new website for her brand called Gimme Mo. And essentially it was like Gimme Mo talk, Mo conversation, Mo interaction, Mo health, Mo everything, you know? So I was helping her design that website and I was using Squarespace. And Squarespace was really new at the time. And I'll be honest, their interface was kind of hard. I didn't really do a great job. <laughs> I mean, I designed a bunch of graphics for her. I kind of laid like the bare bones for this website, but she would ask for like fixes and updates and I just wouldn't perform. I wouldn't do them. And in my defense, I was 18. It was the summer after my senior year. I had just started smoking weed and I was like partying in downtown Portland, just like having fun. I was being real stupid, honestly. Like if I could go back in time, I would watch every tutorial and learn how to make this website so that I could finish this website. But also in my defense, I wasn't getting paid. So I was working, I was doing the weeds, I was hanging out with a lot of people and like doing uh, kid things. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know, I don't know what was wrong with me. But truly, I like didn't perform. <laughs> like I didn't do a good job. And it got to a point where 
the day came that Monique Coleman from High School Musical had to fire me. She had to fire me. <laughs> I was fired by Monique Coleman from High School Musical. <laughs> Oh my god. I was so embarrassed, but at the same time, she was so kind. <laughs> I remember she was like, you have a lot of talent to offer the world. You have helped so much build this website and create the vision for what it's going to be, but like, we need to move forward in a different direction. She couldn't have been kinder, honestly. And I thought about this for years. Years. I have felt bad about, like, not designing this website for Monique Coleman for like 10 years. <laughs> Wait, when did it happen? 2012? Okay, like nine years. Wow. I have been feeling bad about not designing this website for like nine years. And when this whole memory came flooding back to me of like Monique Coleman being the first person I came out to, how, how do you forget that? I, when this all came flooding back to me, I posted it on my Instagram stories and Monique Coleman saw it. She responded. She was very kind. She reposted it on her story. Um, and she told me that she didn't remember having to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> so that just goes to show that like sometimes things are such a big deal to you and it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And she even said everything worked out exactly the way that it was supposed to. She's an angel. She is <laughs> an actual angel. So that's the story of how I got fired by Monique Coleman and also how I came out to Monique Coleman. It's crazy how like memories just fade like that. I asked my friend why I forgot this and she was like, it's probably because you started smoking weed around that time, which does make sense. It's just crazy to me. I, I truly had no recollection until I saw her trending on Twitter and I was like, oh my God, the fear of saying yes. Like I remember that I remember being so scared and saying yes, it just came flooding back to me. So yeah, Modi Coleman from High School Musical was the first person person I ever came out to. And uh, she was, I think, the first person to ever fire me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. But th those those events are, are separate. They <laughs> she did not fire me because I came out to her. <laughs> Want to make that very clear. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Monique Coleman, if you're watching this, I love you. I would vote for you for president. Uh <laughs> and, and that's it. Life is wild. We are in a simulation. <laughs> Thank you for watching this little story time. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed remembering it. Leave a like button if you did. Subscribe, hit the bell. Do whatever you want to do with me because I'll say thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, and use code MERMAN. Links will be in the description. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, and remember to always stay golden. Ha, ha, ha.